Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome to all my friends. Welcome to this wonderful mystic affirmation reading. Uh, I'll first say yesterday was hilarious because I was looking at the calendar. Uh, I have a weeks at a glance calendar up and for some reason I had flipped the page and was looking at last week and so some of you have already are already with me on this. I was looking at the 14th rather than the 21st. And, uh, yeah, it's fun. So, <laughs> thank you all for understanding that sometimes I am not perfect. And even though I get the date wrong a few times, the reading was for yes, for today's energy or yesterday's energy. And so, this is uh, just one of the many faux pas that can happen when you are doing these kind of readings. And uh, that's it just it gets the days run away with you. So... Uh, <laughs> I knew what the date was, but for some reason, when you get into the ethereal, you can, you're very, you know, open to suggestions. So many blessings to all of you. Thank you for understanding in advance. Uh, if you'd like a different kind of reading or check out my channel and see the playlist that I have for all the different things, just touch this icon right here. It'll take you straight to my homepage. It'll also give you a way to subscribe or to book a reading. There's many things that little button does. It's magic. So with that being said, we'll move forward in today's energy of Wednesday, January 22nd, 2020. Many blessings to you all and thank you for being part of this beautiful energy as we sit our mind and energy into uh, bringing about our beautiful best possible outcome for today. Thank you angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much divine for these blessings and beautiful messages and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for your divine guidance as always and welcome your energy here. Thank you so much for this blessing and beautiful message. We receive it in the love and light it's intended. Thank you so much. Okay, we have the Four of Cups. We had this earlier this week. Beautiful energy of receiving abundance. Uh, knowing that it may not look like you've pictured it. Sometimes it showed up, shows up wrapped in a different paper or not wrapped at all. It can show up just disguised as work or disguised as something else. Remember, see how that's a pink color and these are blue? Okay, it may not be the standard issue. So don't turn away your blessing just because it doesn't look like you think it should. Okay, remember, be open. The universe knows better than we do. Believe. We're going to take believe. It's a little bit outdated in, in what it's talking about because people don't really use checks anymore. Uh, some do. Uh, and, and this is the way, it, you know, it just, I believe that each check I write brings back money or brings money back to me tenfold. So it means everything that you put out, you receive tenfold back. And whether that's through electronic check, electronic draft, or actual written check. So... Um, it is about your intention when you're spending your money. It's important to remember this. Um, I had a, a situation, and just this is important because this is how I got this message. I had a situation where I was having a moment. It was something I needed, and I was afraid to buy it because I thought, what, am, what if, what if I don't? What if I spend this money and it doesn't come back? And the universe answered very quickly. My guides were on that like white on rice, and they said, "Look." If you spend the money, you're making room for something to come in and fill the void of the money that you spent because you spent it with the right energy. And if you believe that while you're spending it, not to say that you're doing it to waste, but when you're paying your bills, because that's usually when the big anxiety comes. We, it's easy for us to go shopping and blow some money, right? But it's when we sit down to do our, our, our bill bills, that's when the, the, the cold sweats hit. Right, when we're paying the light bill and the cable bill and the you know grocery bill and all of that, we're looking at the mountain of money we're putting out, and that's when we get the, the the cold feet. So, being that kind of energy of as I pay this 
bill to this company. I wish them good luck. I thank them for their service, whatever it is that they offer me. In, and that's why you do business only with people or with companies that make you feel spiritually in, in, in that energy. You don't want to be in the negative place when you're paying the bills. That's just basically what that's talking about. Be in the place of giving. Because when you're in the place of giving, it means that you have the confidence that you have it to give. Important to remember. Recovery. This is a beautiful energy of divine healing, divine restoration of all things. It can be health, wealth, vitality, um, emotional recovery, uh, recovery from an illness or a, an addiction, letting go of things that, ha that have crippled you or, or brought you to a place of, of negative and, and brought you out of the light. We're now in a place of recovery. We're recovering our wealth. We're recovering our health. We're recovering our strength and our conviction to move forward. We're recovering our divine light and the being that we are internally. The light being within us is recovering the beautiful luster and the beautiful light emitted. Receiving that. Now we have our beautiful sacred geometry cards. Heart chakra. Remember, any of the names of the decks are below listed in the description underneath the video here. The frequency of the heart chakra, the green flower of life, supports our capacity to love deeply and unconditionally. Its healing properties harmonize the mind and the body. So again, this seems like someone is having a real deep healing experience here. This is the heart chakra is aligning with that recovery energy. And this is the top card, of course. I always read it and then we'll go to the card that shuffles in. My home is a peaceful haven. I bless my home with love. I put love in every corner and my home lovingly responds with warmth and comfort. I am at peace. Love that energy and I do believe that. When you, when you bring yourself into the vibration of harmony with yourself and the universe, I like this. I am flexible and flowing. When you have that harmony, it emits within and outside of your home and helps you feel safe and protected. I am flexible and flowing. I am open to the new and changing. Every moment presents a wonderful new opportunity to become more of who I am. And I follow, oh sorry, <laughs> I didn't read it right. I flow with life easily and effortlessly. If we can read, we can flow. That's how to keep that straight. I am flexible and flowing. I am open to the new and changing. Every moment presents a wonderful new opportunity to become more of who I am. I flow with life easily and effortlessly. Now this is being in a place of allowing, okay? Being open to the guidance and direction of the spirit and divine energy. So we have the four of cups here. This is the manifestation of something coming in for your benefit that may not look how you thought. And we have the Knight of Wands. So this Knight of Wands is coming in. Now he's calling for action and he's very fast moving. So this will be someone coming in saying, hey, come on, let's do this. Well, it usually means a job because it is the Wands, but it means, you know, that Wands means work. But it can just mean having to do something. It doesn't have to be a job. The Knight of Cups. So this is an extension of an offer coming through this action offer. So this extension is a heartfelt offer. Something, and remember the cup, it's being offered to you here. And this Knight of Cups is actually part of that offer. Now, the King of Cups. So more than just the gesture being made, this is the actual true sound of authentic, caring energy. This King of Cups is all about meaning what he's saying. It's not, 
He's not making it in a light way. He truly to his core means he's offering, he's truly trying to give you this opportunity. So this can be job, this can be health, this can be love. Somebody may be getting a gesture of really strong emotion from someone telling you how they feel about you, letting you know what you mean to them, and they really mean it. The King of Cups is the energy of the water signs, and that and all the cup cards are showing that. The water signs are um, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. And then we have the Knight, which is the rods, which is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy. So, very strong energy of action and really heartfelt energy happening here. So, many blessings to you all. I think this is a beautiful reading. I send you love and light and abundance, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Namaste.